मॉड्यूल सेवन लेक्चर थर्टी सेवन अथेंटिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल इन विंडोज पासवर्ड इज स्टोर्ड इन दॉर्म ऑफ हैश वैल्यू इन दिलो पिक्चर वी कैन सी द पासवर्ड इज स्टोर्ड इन द सेम फाइल ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन दैश फॉर्म वेन द यूजर एंटर दूजर पासवर्ड कंप्यूटर यूज इज द पासवर्ड एंड जनरेट दैश वैल्यू विद द सम ऑफ एलग्रिथम and authenticator compare the resulted hash value with the value of hash stored in the same file if both matches the computer allowed the user to log in successfully how authentication works for domain account there is some authentication protocol used in windows operating system for authentication and authorization of user credential there are two types of authentication protocol currently being used in windows ntlm and kerberos when any user enter the username and password authentication protocol responsibility to verify and validation of the credential authentication protocol works on the symmetric key cryptography for encrypting and decrypting of the information in which the same key is used for encryption and decryption all the username and password exist in the active directory for the domain account in the domain controller windows logs all activity related to the failed attempt successful login activity for the user account in the log files before understanding the authentication protocol understand the need for basic security in securing the credential why encryption required for example one client say want to access the resource of one server if client will send the credential of on the wire or in the network might be the credential can be sniffed by the some attacker connected in the same network this attack is known as man in the middle attack because of our poisoning or attacker can directly sniff the traffic from the wire attacker can also modify or reply back to the server with the sniffed traffic the attacker now received the credential of the user account the attacker will submit the credential of the user to the domain controller and authenticate as a user and now attacker can do the any activity on the behalf of the user to secure the communication channel trick encryption is used now user does not need to send any clear text password in the network all the information is encrypted with the user password generated from the hash value hash value is used to generate the or for the encryption in the information now user will send a request to access the resources domain controller will send a challenge to the user the user will use the password hash and encrypt the challenge with the user password and send back to the server the server will use the user password for the decryption and if found the same challenge and the response as the user password is stored in the active directory the directory can decrypt the challenge and can see the response and the challenge if they matches it allows the user to log into the computer now without transferring any credential in the network user successfully authenticated there are two protocols ntlm and kerberos this is the ntlm authentication protocol ntlm authentication protocol is a challenge response authentication protocol which uses the three message to authenticate a client in a connection oriented environment first client send a request for the authentication of the user credential next the server response challenge message which is used to establish the identify our identity of the client finally the client respond to the challenge with the encrypted message or encrypted by the hash value generated from the user password domain controller matches the value if it matches it allow the user ntlm password is hashed with the md4 algorithm ntlm password can be up to 127 character is valid and password is a case sensitive you can choose the lower and the upper case to understand this authentication protocol please refer the below image password in the computer stored in the form of hash in this picture password is stored in the active directory of the domain controller if a client machine connected in the domain its credential will be stored in the active directory how authentication work to access a resources when the user enter the username and password 
client machine send a request to the server server will give the some challenge to the client client will use the hash key generated from the password and encrypt the challenge with the hash of the password and provide the encrypted data to the back to the server as a response to decrypt the data same key need to be used as key is the hash of the password and the user password stored in the active directory of the domain controller now the server will send the username challenge and response back to the domain controller domain controller already has the user password in the active directory user password hash has been used to encrypt the data user password hash will be used to decrypt the data if the user password is right hash value will be the same domain controller first check the password hash for the respected username and decrypt the encrypted data from the hash password of the user compare the request response from the user if both matches entered credential of the user is right domain controller authenticate the user and server may allow the user to access the resources so with this authentication protocol technique user password is not transferring to the network anymore kerberos this kerberos authentication protocol is the another authentication protocol used in the windows environment it is comes by default this protocol is the default authentication protocol used with active directory in the domain controller kerberos is the another authentication protocol widely used with the domain controller to authenticate the user in this authentication protocol there is a kdc server key distribution center it manages the password for all the user computer accounts connected in this domain with the help of active directory in kdc we have two other server first is authentication server second is ticket granting server known as tgs the authentication server will be responsible for providing the tgt ticket ticket granting ticket to the user TGS or ticket granting server will be responsible for providing the service ticket to the user for accessing the requested services. The first client will send a request to the authentication server and will receive a TGT ticket in the response. This ticket is to prove the identity of the user only. Second step, the client send a TGT ticket further to the ticket granting server for the request to access the server services. The TGS server will check the TGT and will approve the user request and provide the service ticket in the response now finally the client will use the service ticket and send to the server on which resource exists and access the resources this is the how the kerberos authentication protocol works if you want to understand the kerberos working or more details you can refer the below slides what are the tgt ticket what are the service ticket what are the services ticket to check the below slides with more details let us understand the kerberos with the below image the client want to access the web server resources the client will first prove its own identity in the network with the authentication server the client will send an encrypted request message with the username system time and service information which user want to access and this information and all this information are encrypted with the user password hash and sent to the authentication server authentication server in kds has the password for all the user and computer accounts it will decrypt the data with the user password hash stored in the active directory the server will reply to the user request authentication server will verify all the details in the request and if they valid the server will reply to the user request with the session key and tgt ticket the session key is the encrypted with the user password it contains the username and system time to decrypt the information user password is required and tgt is like an approval which also encrypted with the kdc password and it is valid for some hours if it is expired the client will further submit a request to the authentication server to get a tgt ticket next client will send a session key and tgt ticket to the ticket granting server session ticket consist of the username and system time and the server name this information is encrypted with the user password and the tgt ticket the tgt ticket is the same ticket received in the previous step ticket granting server decrypt the tgt ticket with its kdc password and verify the tgt ticket if it the one generated by the kdc server also find the user identity ticket granting server decrypt the tgt ticket with its password and verify the tgt ticket and find the user identity 
has been already verified by the authentication server in the previous step and find this server information where user want to access. Now the ticket granting server will send a service ticket which contains the user password and this information is encrypted with the password of the requested server. In this session key only the server decrypt this information and the session key. Only the server can decrypt the information. Now ticket granting server will send a service ticket and a session key to the user. Service ticket contain the user password. This information is encrypted with the user password. Ticket granting server will send a service ticket and session key to the user. Service ticket contain the user password and service ticket is encrypted with the password of the server which requested by the user. This information is encrypted with the requested server password. Only the server can decrypt this information. Session key is encrypted with the user password and consists of the username and system time of the client machine. The user will forward both, the, both of the tickets to the main web server. The server will decrypt the service ticket with its password and find the user password in the information. The server will further use the user password and decrypt the session key and find the username and system time of the user machine. If system time matches with the system time of the user machine, the server will allow the user to access the resources. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you.